Oh man, it was raining. And when it rains and it's you just want to be cozy, I thought there was no better thing to get for dinner than some fried chicken. Jeez. We bought some groceries at the start of the week, trying to be healthy and everything. <laughs> you think I feel guilty, but I don't even at all. No. Nope. You can't make me feel guilty. We I did. moved out to the city for a reason, and it was to eat lots of food and get fat. So we got to a place called Nene's Chicken. Apparently it's a really large chain in South Korea. We were in South Korea. We never saw Nene's Chicken. We've been there three times. Apparently there's a thousand stores. There's a thousand stores <laughs> and we didn't see one. No, and we tried to. We tried looking for one, yeah. I couldn't find one. Should we do a fry test? You know, I like to do a fry test. Yeah. That's a good judge of character to see whether the, they, they care about the food, you know? Cheers. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. I don't that's... remember it being this good. No, this is a good fry. This is really good fry. Um. Mm. I'm used to more like really stale, nasty chips from Nene's chicken. I have no clue what they were like. They were um... never good. They were like doughy. These chips are really good. Mm. They're nicely salted. I'm not sure if you can see, but they're really nicely salted. And you know what they, um, you know what they remind me of? Potatoes. Well, that, <gasps> you wanna know. They remind me of, um, like, homestyle chips. Like the inside of it. it has, you, know, you guys know how homestyle chips have, like, a flavor? You're really deep diving into the chippies, but this is about chicken. We got a jumbo boneless chicken. Two flavors. One is um, snowing chili. I think this is new and it's snowing chili and snowing cheese combined. Yeah, it's a spicy snowing cheese, which is the best flavor. Snowing cheese is delicious. If anyone needs to know what flavor to get, you get snowing mm. cheese. But today we've got snowing chili. The Nene's at my, near my old house, they never really made good food. But the flavor of snowing cheese was so good mm. that we would actually go and eat there because yeah. it was like on point. Yeah. Should we just shut up and just try yeah. it? Yeah, I just want a little one. It literally smells like chili powder. See how it's nice and coated? Delicious. <laughs> Cheers. I love how, um, just eat, just, just eat. Mmm. <sighs> mm. It's pretty good, man. It's spicy. Whoa, this is really spicy. Nikita's gonna die. I already am dying. This is really spicy. There's no way this is one spice. Can't really taste the cheese. It does have a nice flavor. It's very powdery. Oh, you're going in for more? It's nice. You just died and you're going in for more? Mm -hmm. That's good. Oh, I think we're supposed to eat with hands. They gave us gloves. I'm gonna do that. No, I'm not. I want the proper experience. Dude, that is hot. That is hot for me. Let alone for Nikita. Holy crap. You need a break? I need to be. Okay. You want some coleslaw? Maybe that'll cool you down. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm gonna. Open wide. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> I hope that. There's something in this that's so yuck, but I don't know what it is. Oh, oh my god. Delicious. It is. <laughs> it is. Nice and tender chicken. But it hurts. Oh yeah, the chicken's really good. Now what other flavor did we get here, sir? We got bulgogi. Which bulgogi is a very classic Korean flavor, so. I eat with my hands. Oh, that's a big piece. Cheers. Mm. Mm. <laughs> that's good. Mm-hmm. Mm, yum. Mm. It's like... It's like sweet, soy. Yeah. What, what does bulgogi taste like? I think bulgogi is usually like a soy-based marinade. Oh. Mm. It's Quite nice and... frankly, mm -hmm. it's delicious. Eating fried chicken is dehydrating. Ah. <coughs> How? It's so salty. Oh. <laughs> is that a thing? Yeah. Eating salt makes you dehydrated. You don't know this? I thought it was just not drinking water. I was drinking too much coffee. Is that common knowledge? I feel like it's not. Of course, salty foods make you thirsty. Yeah, so you drink water, so like, you're not dehydrated. 
Or is that your body's way of telling you you're getting dehydrated? What are you talking about? You're saying salty food makes you drink, makes you thirsty. Yeah. So you drink water. Right. So then how could it make you dehydrated if it makes you drink water? You being serious or are you just trying to be funny for the camera? No, I'm being serious. But is that your body's way of saying you're getting dehydrated? Thirst? I don't know whether I should just humor this conversation well, or what the hell is wrong yeah, with you? Yeah, I'm asking. What do you mean? I'm asking the question. I don't know. Yes, when the body's thirsty, it makes you want to drink water. Yeah, but like, why does why is it thirsty? Because it's getting dehydrated. Is that what it is? I don't know. Is that your body trying to tell you that you're dehydrated? Yes. Oh, that's all you had to say. Wow. That's all you had to say. It's not common knowledge. It is. <clears throat> it's like. Oh, when your body feels like eating food, does that mean you're hungry? No shit! <laughs> no, it's different. I learned what happens when you overeat. What happens when you overeat? It's like, you get tired. Because your body has to work hard, harder, to digest all the food you ate. Because you can only eat one litre of food. But if you eat two or three litres of food, which you can also do, not good things happen. Very bad things happen. And you get tired. And you get a food baby. We're an educational channel now. Are you sure? Because... <laughs> Shut up. Am I sure? What? I feel like that is not common knowledge, what you said. Salty food makes you dehydrated. Is that common? Did you guys know that? No, right? But then you also asked me, mm -hmm. when your body's thirsty, Yeah. or when your body wants to drink water, mm -hmm. is that a sign you're thirsty? No, is that a sign that you're getting dehydrated? That's what I meant. Obviously you're thirsty if you're thirsty. <laughs> Oh man, I'm losing brain cells in this conversation. Shut up! Next topic, guy. Next topic. Fine, we're gonna talk about. You ate all the coleslaw. Because you didn't like it, so I just ate it. Yeah, I did. Um, that next topic, let's talk about a topic that makes you seem knowledgeable. Because <laughs> okay. casual talk and genuine knowledge makes you seem no, not knowledgeable. I'm good at general knowledge, like, I love trivia. Can we go trivia? No, you love trivia, but you suck at trivia. Yeah, just because you like something doesn't mean you're good at it. I'm good at general knowledge, like, I love trivia. No, you just said you're good at it. Because you like trivia. Well, you I just am. said that. Well, I have a lot of random facts. Name one. Um, Friday 13th is always when the month starts on a Sunday. I told you that. Mm. I literally told you that. I knew it from trivia. Yeah, but I've told you before and you're like, oh. So you just yeah. didn't listen to me and then you heard no. our trivia. No. What else did you say the other day that you told me? But I learned it as a kid, not from you. You didn't! What was it? It was like if you eat quickly, you can eat more because your brain hasn't caught up to your stomach. Yes! Yet. I learned that as a kid. No, you I told you! It takes 20 minutes to realize you're full. I told you that! My mom did! <laughs> I told you that, man. <laughs> My mum did. I told you that. After my mum told me, yeah. <laughs> Could you want anything? Could you want anything? Not time tables. <laughs> what would you say is a, the topic <clears throat> that you're most knowledgeable in out of anything in the world? Pop culture. That is not, you know, you know. That's a topic. Yeah, but you know zero pop culture. Dude, your pop I know culture. Alright. So you know some stuff. Geography. And, oh my god. Geography. Guys, I literally just said what, what is the topic that you're most no, knowledgeable in? And you say everything. you say, I know some stuff. <laughs> obviously I don't know everything. I know pop culture for my generation. My god, guys. This... Alright, geography, geography. I tried to do this to save <laughs> save you and to show people that you know things and 
you're just making it worse. Okay, geography. Then why did you, why did you know pop culture then? Because that's what I know the most. You don't know pop culture. I always reference pop culture and you never know what the hell I'm talking about. That's old people pop culture. That's not pop culture. Pop I'm culture younger is than you. I talk about stuff. Pop culture is current celebrity news. I always talk about current stuff. You never know what the hell's going no, on. No, you talk about old movies and you know. No, I talk about I talk I know I talk about older stuff as well. Okay. But I talk about recent stuff as well, like and you literally never have a clue what that was going on. Like what? I don't know. Well, 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 I can't think of something off the top of my head. Or like who the latest celebs are. Yeah, I do always have to ask you, like, who is... Uh, what's their names? Like, La... Larsa? No, Lara. Who? <laughs> who sings closer? BB Rexa? <laughs> is that a new song? No, you know Closer? That big song with chain smokers. Oh, Halsey. Halsey, yes, I never know who Halsey is. Geography then. China. Um, what continent is Morocco in? Africa. What's your topic that you like? I'm most knowledgeable in. But something that I could ask questions about. Oh, I wasn't doing it to test you. I was just curious. Oh. I was just curious. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a game. <laughs> it's, a, it's a thing you never think about. Like, what's the one thing that I know the most about? For you? Yeah. Valorant? No, I barely play. Are you sport? Nah, I don't and know that much. I just, I just follow one thing. What do you know the most about? Cooking. Not really. I don't know, you see? <laughs> Cameras? <laughs> Computers. Yeah. Even then, I don't know that much compared to like IT people. I don't know. You see, I don't know. Geography. I my, I I suck at geography. Books, literature. No. Art. This is making me look bad. <laughs> Let's stop going on this. <laughs> like, what pie would you win in Trivial Pursuit? I always win Trivial Pursuit. You do. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not very knowledgeable in uh, something. You're just like a whole range of things. Yeah, I just know a bunch of random shit mm. that doesn't help you in life. It helps you if you go to trivia. Do you want to go to trivia one night? No. Why? I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure whether I should say this, but... Are you going to bag out trivia people? Oh, you're saying no. it's a white person thing? <laughs> <laughs> Is this, trivia is a bit of a white people thing. Yeah, didn't you come to trivia once and you were the only Asian? Of course I'd be the only Asian there. <laughs> And then I asked all my friends if like they've ever been to Trivia and they're like, no. It's a bit of a white people thing. You're probably right, but it's fun. I love Trivia. See, but that's a good thing <laughs> about dating a different race because it exposes you to things, you know? Does that mean you're going to come to Trivia with me? I already have been to Trivia with you and it was not fun. All right, it was very fun. We can go again. Or we can just play here. No, we can play here. We should get Trivial Pursuit on the Switch. Are we really eating this? Oh my God. Whilst we're waiting for our order, we were like, damn, we just ordered so much chicken. Daniel's like, yeah, it's all right. I'll have some for lunch tomorrow. I think we're literally eating it all. May as well eat it all, eh? <laughs> but you know, mm -hmm. it's not that much chicken. When no. I order a, a chicken at a nub, like different chain, we, but we can't finish it. No. We always have pizza left over. I feel like they don't give you that much chicken. And they were all really bite-sized. No. But maybe I should wait 20 minutes to see if I'm full. I am definitely full. I could probably <laughs> stop. If you overeat, your blood, no, your heart, has to send all the blood to your stomach. Oh my God. It's really bad for you. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. You're one of those people. What? Like those people that, um, they watch a documentary and they, they'll, they'll keep preaching about it. Yeah, I watch like a five minute YouTube video. <laughs> now I know everything about overeating. But I'm trying to overeat at the moment. To finish it? No, yeah, I want to put on weight. Mm, that can happen too if you always overeat. Yeah. It said, if you overeat <laughs> like every single day, you will die. That's what it said. What? Mm -hmm. I mean, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Everybody dies. Well, that's true. Because your, your body just has to work so hard 
to um, digest yeah. anything like over a litre of food. Damn. Uh huh. That's why you vomit. Because your stomach's so full, it's actually gone back up. It literally just won't fit in your stomach anymore. Well, there's something you're knowledgeable about, man. Yeah, because I watched it yesterday. Bagolgi was really yummy. Bagolgi was delicious. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. How can you? What? What for? What? Was that bad? <laughs> You're my boyfriend. I'm not opposed to it, but it was just very random. <laughs> You're not like, we're just in the middle of a meal here. I forget what I was trying to say. <laughs> what? Why are you doing that? Why not? What are you doing? I remember what I was going to say. I was going to say, before you weirdly touched me. You did! It was weird! We're together, I feel like that's not weird. What? Anyway, go on. What, what are you going to say? It feels good not to be guilty about it. Why aren't you guilty about it? Because... Back then, I'll be like, oh man, I'm gonna get so fat. But I'm trying to put on weight at the moment anyway. Aww. And then I'm like, I, w I would feel guilty about eating out. But that's what I moved to the city for. It's to true. eat out. It's true. I'd be wasting money if I didn't spend money eating out. And that's how I would justify it. Oh man. I'm, I'm, I've overeaten now. Dude, you're gonna die. I know. <laughs> I can t tell. I can tell my stomach sending messages to my brain to tell me to stop eating. I can feel it in my belly. My belly's got a lot bigger, but at the same time, I have a girlfriend. I don't need to impress anybody. What's the matter? Yeah. You always say you don't like muscles. I don't. So. I'm actually getting more attractive to Nikita by eating all of this, believe it or not. That's why I was like, who's? Oh, because <laughs> I was eating fried food, eh? Yeah! <laughs> Just joking. Don't Let get too tough. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> anyway, the rest is for you, my little fat king. <laughs> it's almost windside. I feel like it's very justified. Oh, you're supposed to put on winter weight. Exactly. Or COVID weight, quarantine weight, whatever you want to do, you do it. I've, I've set myself a goal. In August is when I'm going to start dieting and trim down. <clears throat> so hopefully in time for summer. That's your birthday month. Yeah. You have to celebrate and eat bad like all month. That's your birthday month. All month? What do you mean all month? <laughs> I'm just joking. Right, yeah, yeah that's, that's the plan, guys. So, that's a good plan. If you see me getting big, like become a big boy, <laughs> that's that's the goal, man. That's the goal. Are you are you gonna be like, oh? No, why? I don't know. Maybe you don't like big boys. Oh, I'm still with you. That wasn't a. <laughs> you still you're still beautiful. You're still handsome. What? No, like if I didn't like big boys, I wouldn't be with you. You're still, that response wasn't like, no, you're still beautiful. It was I'm like, just joking. I'm still with you. Yeah, I'm like calling you fat, but it's just a joke. You know, you're beautiful. That's what I was expecting. Yeah, you're letting me hug you, touch you. Yeah, you can hug me, but I don't know. It just came out of nowhere. <laughs> what? We're you know, just, you know, whatever. we're rambling. We're whatever. Rambling. We're rambling. Thanks for joining us for dinner, everybody. Um, if you're watching this, go treat yourself, man. Yes. Life is too short. Unless you're... Benjamin Button. No, he go... No. Peter Pan, Peter Pan. Yes. Peter Pan. Actually, I, I don't want to give bad advice out there. Your health is very important. Make sure oh. you do everything in moderation. It's, it's all about moderation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have a bad news about moderation. Eat healthy during the week. So, you know, but, but, but treat yourself now. Yeah. Right. You've gotten my okay. Yep. 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 If um, your doctor says, why, why are you eating all this food after I've strictly told you that you need to go on a diet because it's like getting really bad, 
They're like, oh, you know, Dan, Dan and Nat said that I would treat myself. Let me know what food you're gonna eat. Yeah. And um, I'll get it too. Oh yeah, well, you know what? Leave what? your um cheat meal down below. Oh yeah. What's your, your cheat meal? Uh well, I mean, I don't really <laughs> eat on a diet. No, but like you know, if like if your go-to comfort cheat meal, what is it? Go. What pasta? Or is why that not that bad? You, why are you asking me as a question? No, like because is pasta like not that bad? No, it's just, yeah, that can be a cheat. Pasta burgers. Yeah, that's good. One. What's yours? I feel like it's a whole mix of things. Like if I had a cheat cheat meal, mm. I'd want some mac and cheese. Oh. Some fried chicken. Oh. Oh. A bit of creamy pasta. Oh yeah. Oh. And some pizza would be nice. Have it all. What kind of place serves all of that? <laughs> I don't know. Costco or something. <laughs> oh, your cheat meal is Costco. No, but like that that's what I would want. Say yeah. if I was on um death row. Oh well, you want your final meal. Yeah, your final meal. My final meal on death row would be Korean barbecue. Oh, that's good. Because that can get expensive. That is Because cool. most people would just get like lobster or something expensive like that, but oh, I'll get KBBQ. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I know. All right, we have to go. We're yeah, just we going to have too to long. go, guys. Leave us alone, all right? <laughs> Stop bothering me. I'm joking. You're never bothering me. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.